think Gamori is coming closer. So I brought the kids to the office. <laughs> so the kids have gone out with their mom. Um, they went to the hotel room. I just came back here to um, bring them some stuff that we bought. Um, some food. Cake. I like cake. Uh, so now I'm going to follow them. I'm, I'm heading over to the hotel now. Um, I guess I'll just bring this. raining but not as strong as before uh, the storm is probably midway through the uh, Philippines now and I think tonight it's gonna start exiting towards the other side to the sea Yeah, there's a um, there's an event here right now. It's uh, for doctors, so uh, that's why we have a hotel room. It's actually my uh, father-in-law's. Uh, Riding over there, uh, we're not sleeping there tonight, but maybe tomorrow. Touch what? The one. What's that? A dead dog. <laughs> Oh wow, it's been one month already. So let me um, show you some tips and what worked for me. Um, yeah, so my first tip is... Fix this. It's better if you decide to quit by yourself. Um, sure, you can have someone like your significant other or your doctor or your friend uh, tell you that, hey, you gotta quit. But I think there's just a tiny little bit more motivation that comes from deciding for yourself that it's you that wants to quit at least that was the way for me um, a lot of times my, my, my parents would tell me to quit my wife would tell me to quit and she's a doctor um, but yeah I never really got around to quitting until I decided for myself that I wanted to quit so that's my first tip tip number two set a hard date when are you gonna stop Say something like, I'm gonna stop tomorrow, or I'm gonna stop next week. Doesn't matter when, make it close, make it imminent, make it near the day that you wanted to quit. That way your initial motivation to quit would still be strong. So uh, when you decide to quit, set a date, make it tomorrow or next week at the latest. And then when that day comes, execute, just quit, stop, no questions, just do it. Tip number three. Uh, baby steps uh, set small manageable goals like I'm not gonna smoke this morning and then when the morning comes and it's gone I'm not gonna smoke by lunchtime and so on I think this is the biggest thing that helped me just taking tiny steps can you even hear me with this wind I should do this indoors yeah tip number four just avoid all temptations. Yeah. 
yeah, I think I should expand on that. Uh, by temptations, I mean, uh, yeah, this place, a smoking area. Some place where you'd probably go to and smoke. Or maybe going out with friends who uh, usually smoke. I mean, if they're real friends, they'd understand that you are trying to quit and that this is probably the best for you. They probably want the best thing for you anyway. So, yeah, if they're real friends, they'll understand. So, if you have to go out alone for a few days, for a few weeks, especially for the first two weeks or so, uh, when the temptation is strongest, yeah, avoid these places at all costs. Yeah, fifth tip, um, when the cravings come, just take a deep breath. Just breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, taking a deep breath uh, has a calming effect and it just, um, re it really helps get you through those cravings. And uh, this was one of the primary things that I did uh, to get through my tiny little goals, uh, to get to the next goal. Whenever the cravings hit, I just took a deep breath. Um, this was mentioned by one of um, uh, one of the commenters in this channel. Uh, his name is Joel Spitzer. He has a uh, channel with a lot of videos that will help you uh, quit smoking. Um, he mentioned that deep breathing is probably one of the best ways to get through the cravings um, because uh, because uh, stuff like Tic Tacs um, just just. Um, moves your craving to something else it just distracts you but when you uh, breathe deeply uh, you condition your body to get through the cravings without doing anything else but breathe uh, which is something that you're doing instinctively I hope okay so um it's pretty much it for this week uh, one month <laughs> still can't believe it one month uh, time flies it's been um it's been a hell of a ride. Yeah, so uh, if you like what you're seeing here, please click the like button. If um, my tips are helping you quit smoking, or my videos are inspiring you to quit smoking as well, please click the like button. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, uh, my reviews of various stuff that I own or whatever, um, which could be good Christmas gifts, by the way, um, please click on the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. See ya.